All right, it's time I have to speak up about um, two people specifically, Age of Disclosure and Wise Up, are, are both interloping into the mud fossil business here and discrediting me, claiming that I don't know what I'm talking about and so forth, and they have the true research. Well, it's, it's absolutely insanity. They're flat earth people, and they're absolutely polluting and destroying mud fossils' integrity. So I'm going to present to you a little information about that, but that, that, please don't associate me with them or anyone that thinks the earth is flat. This is, uh, please, thank you. All right, this was the lab that did the, um, the gene uh, sequencing or whatever they do. And, and there's a full report. I mean, it's extremely detailed. It has all the little barcodes and colors and all the different primers they use and the enzymes and the different kits and all the protocols. It's, it's very, very detailed. And, and that's on uh, mudfossils.com. And so they did, uh, uh, I don't know what they did. They did part of it or so forth. But then it went to... Uh, Eaton Bio Labs, who is another uh, certified lab, and, and the result was 100% mitochondrial DNA from humans. And the reason it was so dense, the DNA, was because I know where to take it from the arterial vascular network, which is the blood. That's it. Now, Jesse Garant did the, look at this. These are the guys that know what to do with CAT scans. I had one done at the University of Texas. It was the worst experience of my life absolute waste of time and it ended up being ugly now these guys did this for us no charge free and were the nicest people that ever walked the face of the planet they did seven cat scans 3d absolutely phenomenal and we took the results of these look at this they could see every little detail of everything and we could too the, the software is like absolutely it's absolutely amazing and the people that run this stuff are rocket scientists way beyond that and uh, look at this look at the stuff they do look at this they could tell you what kind of little molecules are here and there absolutely incredible anyway nice people nice people and I give them my absolute thanks now Gil Hadley same thing I give him my absolute thanks and he is a wonderful and talented person that she had insights that were extremely valuable about the mineralization of different types of tissue and how it affected his scalpels and all kinds of things. So anyway, and I spent a lot of time with him, and he did very, very graciously, again, donated his time. And uh, so this is not, we're not guessing here. But the problem is, now they think flat earth people have come up with all this stuff, and it's ruined, it's polluted my research, and it's upsets me. Anyway, this is where I do real research. We do research on all the different um, chemistry and uh, acids and, and, and what's inside of them. And they, we're here like this. And we have different techniques nobody else uses. We freeze these things here and, and they separate in the winter. That's a lung. You see that black stuff? That's silicon. That's silicon from within a lung. And the lung will be damaged by fluoric acid fluoric, uh, uh, hydrofluoric acid, and hydrofluoric acid is one of the only things that will damage silicon. So we, do, we don't do play around and do games and you look at something and say, oh, that's the face of something, or that must be a giant octopus or something. This is reality, and it is upsetting that it's been overtaken by people that believe the earth is flat, which obviously they can believe anything. So what can I say about that? I would prefer for them to go and believe this somewhere else and stay away from my research and not refer to it whatsoever. An age of disclosure and wise up has taken over and they're claiming themselves to be mud fossil experts. There's those dozens of them now. They're all over the place. But these two are the ones that I helped. They turned against me and I'm turning back against them and telling you stay away from them. You're just going there to find out things that are just guesses. I mean, sure, sure, he might find something every now and then that's legitimate, absolutely. And so the earth is covered with stuff. But if you don't know what you're looking at, it's just a guess. So that's the case. End of story. All right, I guess I'll blow my own horn a little bit, too. I'm not an idiot, you know. I did this stuff my whole life, so I'm not just guessing. This was, uh, I mean, I did, I don't know, it doesn't matter what I did, but you see this? 
but I do know what I'm talking about. So, you know, this goes back. I didn't do this for 15 minutes and then forget about it. This goes on and on and on. I got pages and pages of this. So this is not something that I'm unfamiliar with. And I understand the chemistry. If you don't understand the chemistry, you're lost. And, and what's happening is I understand the chemistry. I understand the anatomy. I understand the biology. I understand the electric, electrical currents. I understand every single thing about it. And the people who are doing this research are so limited in their capabilities. They see one single little thing. And this is on both sides. The flat earth people and the academics. They see one thing and they glob onto that and it, that's it. They're done. They're, they're, it's all over. They're an expert. Case closed. It's time to come wake up to reality. Go to mudfossils.com. Go to um, Mud Fossils University on YouTube and go to my, my, um, my uh, YouTube, I mean uh, my Facebook groups. Learn out what's real, because you're just wasting your time looking at that stuff. I mean, it might be real, it might not be real. I can't say for sure what's the, what, what every single one is, but I can guarantee you, if I show it to you, I support it with actual, factual evidence, case closed. And if you go up and find out Comet 67P is a literal tendon, and that is a fact, and I back that up with facts, and NASA agrees that it is 100% organic, and the... the molecular um, analysis of, the, of the, 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 the byproducts of that just after they crashed, uh, just before they crashed the Philae lander was 100% organic and I looked at it and it is identical, not close, identical to the molecular chemistry of us. So that's just a fact. You know, this is going to create a little confusion and delusion for both of you, all of you, academics and everybody. Are they, they're going to love this. <laughs> what do you see there? Well, I don't know. That's a flat earth? I don't think so. What do you see over here, Mr. Academic? I see a, a dragon. What do you see? You see? I see a dragon's head right there. And what is he doing? He's leaking all this nasty stuff out of his mouth. And what is that? That's the nastiest stuff I ever saw. And where did it come from? It came from his throat. And his throat is full of what? It's full of scales. And what kind of scales? I don't know. They look like dragon scales to me. Because he is a dragon. So I imagine he has dragon scales. All the way down for miles and 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 miles. And if you come out of here, you will see exactly why. Because now we are coming towards where his stomach is. Uh, and here's his legs. There's his head. It goes all the way down. That is all the blood that ran off. And here is tail. And here, and let's all look and see. I don't want to show you everything because why bother? If his tail has the scales, I'm going to go with a dragon. And gee, look at that. Scales everywhere. All right. Is that just now? Let's ask a, a somebody that is, is somebody that understands decomposition. This is death. This is the runoff of death, and the entire thing is the runoff of death. That is all the runoff of death. And when you come up to his neck, you can see it very, very, very nicely. That is death. All right. So, academic people, flat earth people. People of every stripe and nature, have a wonderful day. Pay attention to the reality of true research. Present something that you can see, you can feel, you can touch. It's called empirical evidence. And it used to be presented when you're in a, at a time that they called the age of reason. And this is a fact. And we have gone into the age of enlightenment. Which means, think of some silly thing like the whole thing blew up from nothing. It created all this dead dust, which had no neutrons because it was all hydrogen. But then, of course, the neutrons came from somewhere. And then it all congealed together. And then it all started bumping up and against each other and rubbing and doing nice things to each other. And before long, life started to slime all over the place and kill each other and, uh, and, and play violins and, uh, you know, and sing while they're, they're killing their neighbors. So I, I, that, is, to me, did not work exactly correctly because there's a lot of steps in there that don't work. And when you get to the point that we're at now, it seems a little suspicious to me. So I think we need a little bit of change in the way we think on every side. Just my point.
but I think I use common sense and I hope that somebody will follow me or I really don't even care I just don't care anymore